This week, we report on Pacific halibut from Canada and the USA to China processed Russian halibut and how prices may have hit the bottom but are on their way back up. With about a month and a half left in the Canada-US Pacific halibut fishery, fishermen have managed to harvest just over 19 million pounds. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the current pace is now only behind about 425,000 pounds compared to the same time last year. With most of the fishery ending November 15th, about 1.2 million pounds would need to be harvested per week to match the same pace as previous years. The Canadian fishery, Area 2B, had its season extended to December 7th by the International Pacific Halibut Commission in a response to COVID-19 disruptions to fishing opportunities and markets. Halibut pricing for much of 2020 has been lower than 2019, mostly caused by the COVID-19 pandemic putting a strain on dine-in food service as halibut is traditionally consumed at white tablecloth establishments. Adding to the strain, an article published on May 12th in Anchorage Daily News by Lane Welch reported that Russian and Canadian halibut were flooding the U.S. markets with their lower-priced halibut. Data off of our TradeX Live portal shows new season Alaskan longline halibut fletches between 1025 to 1275 per pound U.S. this year, compared to 1325 to 1450 a pound in 2019. On the contrary, twice frozen Russian longline Pacific halibut fletches produced in China have been priced slightly higher on average, most of this year hovering around 925 to 1075 per pound US compared to 850 to 1050 a pound in 2019. On the commodity side, new season headed and gutted Alaskan longline halibut saw pricing between 635 to 665 per pound US this year, compared to 650 to 790 a pound in 2019. Despite lower food service sales, consumer data showed a slight uptick in retail sales of halibut as consumers took to their kitchens to get their halibut fix. Instead of halibut inventories going straight to freezers, fresh sales were moving and most of the industry saw hand-to-mouth production in sales. Our recommendation is to get your halibut program in order, as an upward price trend is anticipated due to more demand from economic revival and food service in the U.S. and the potential for a shortage of Russian halibut raw materials. For this week's sustainability segment, we're highlighting a program from Sailors of the Sea called KELP. KELP offers free downloadable lesson plans that use simple materials to teach kids from home about ocean health issues such as pollution, overfishing, and climate change. To learn more about this, check the links below our video. Moving on to the Russian halibut and twice frozen Chinese production. In China, prices on Pacific halibut have been at low levels over the last year. However, prices have recently started an upwards movement as vendors are reporting that North American buyers have started buying again. The upwards price trend is also being anticipated due to a shortage in supply of Russian halibut. It is being reported that some Russian boats are not harvesting halibut due to raw material prices currently at around 40% of what boats were receiving two years ago. In 2019, U.S. imports of Pacific and Atlantic halibut totaled at 884,054 kilos, or 1.9 million pounds, directly from Russia, and 757,539 kilos, or 1.7 million pounds, from China. Compare this to January to July 2020, U.S. imports of halibut total 227,685 kilos or 500,000 pounds from Russia and 368,639 kilos or 800,000 pounds from China. As Russian halibut is mostly caught as bycatch, the harvest data is limited. However, since halibut is not typically consumed in Russia nor China, and Chinese production mostly uses Russian fish, and almost all Russian and China halibut production is targeted for the North American market, we can use the above import data to get a sense of how much Russian halibut is harvested. 
If you are not already, be sure to subscribe to our 3 Minute Market Insight using the sign up form below to keep tuned into all the upcoming market insights. Thank you for joining me for the TradeX Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This has been Tasha Cadence reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.